What's up guys, it's Alex here, and today I sort of have some NBA 2K14 for you guys, but this is more about uh, the conspiracy of the NBA draft. Some of you guys may know what I'm talking about, and some of you may agree with me. Some of you might not, but that's okay. I'm going to give you my thoughts on the Cavaliers getting the number one overall pick again. In the, for the 2014 NBA draft, this marks the third time in the past four years that the Cavaliers have gotten the number one pick. And in 20, I want to say, I want to say 2011, but I, I'm not 100% sure, so don't take my word for it. They had the fourth pick as well, or that might have been 2012 when they didn't get number one overall. But either way, this I think it's been a conspiracy against the rest of the NBA and the lottery teams that since LeBron James left them in 2010 to go to the Heat in that infamous decision, well not the infamous decision but the, the way he said it, I think the NBA has been kind of favoring the Cavaliers and basically been feeling sorry for them. So... And it's, I, I like the Cavaliers, don't get me wrong, but I don't think they should have gotten it. It should have gone to the Bucks or at least the 76ers, because those are the teams that need it. Those are the teams that should have gotten it. The Bucks had a 25% chance of getting it. I think the 76ers had like a 17% or 19 or something like that. And then the Cavaliers only had a 1.7% chance. But somehow... They were able to work through it and get it, get the number one overall pick. So I don't know. I think it's a conspiracy. Well, conspiracy might be a strong word, but you know, you don't know. But go ahead and leave in the comment section what you guys think. If you think it's just happening by chance, or you think there's, like I do, that there's some pattern that's going along with this. So yeah. Those are my thoughts on the situation. I'm happy for the Cavaliers that they were able to get this. They're finally built up their team. As Lou Waldang makes it splash from deep. Yeah, I'm happy for them. Hopefully they'll be able to finally build their team back up. They'll get Kyrie at point. Deion Waiters at shooting guard. Then potentially Andrew Wiggins or Jabari Parker at small forward. Or no, they could have, yeah. They could have that uh, Parker or Wiggins at small forward. Then they could have Luol Ding, or Dang, however you say his name, at power forward. And then uh, they're going to try to bring Anthony Bennett in as the center. They're going to try to make him work, but he was he's just a bust as a, as a 2013 number one overall. They should have picked Oladipo. Oladipo or Nerlens Noel. But uh, I'm kind of biased for Noel because he's from Kentucky. And if you guys have been following me, you know that I'm a Kentucky fan. So, hopefully they'll be able to yeah, build up their team into a super team. I'm rooting for them to do that, but they just, the Cavaliers and the NBA draft is just a conspiracy. It should not have happened this way. It should not have happened three out of the last four years and back-to-back, -back, along with top five picks, I think, almost every year. So, just leave a comment, like, or a lot of you will probably dislike due to the fact that you don't like this theory. But, but I just want to say thank you guys for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. And I shall see you guys later.